Welcome, dear friends, to our time of scripture reading for Monday, August the 7th, 2023. My name is Brian J. Monroe. I'm pastor of Kitimat First Baptist Church in beautiful Kitimat, British Columbia. We are following the Revised Common Lectionary. This is year A of the three-year cycle. We're in the season of the church year called After Pentecost, and the Monday after the Sunday called Proper 13. As it's a Monday, we have a new psalm reading for today, Psalm 78, verses 1 to 8, and then 17 to 29. Uh, then there'll be a reading in from the Old Testament from Deuteronomy and a reading in the New Testament from the letter to the Romans. Uh, we're reading option one out of two options, and really the only difference between the two is the Old Testament reading. We begin Psalm 78, a maskil of Asaph. Give ear, O my people, to my teaching. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter dark sayings from of old, things that we have no heard and known that our fathers have told us. We will not hide them from their children, but will tell to the congregate to the coming generation. But tell to the coming generation the glorious deeds of the Lord and his might and the wonders that he has done. He established a testimony in Jacob and appointed a law in Israel, which he commanded our fathers to teach to their children, that the next generation might know them, the children yet unborn, and arise to tell them to their children, so that they should set their hope in God and not forget the works of God, but keep his commandments and that they should not be like their fathers, a stubborn and rebellious generation, a generation whose heart was not steadfast, whose spirit was not faithful to God. Yet they sinned still more against him, rebelling against the Most High in the desert. They tested God in their heart by demanding the food they craved. They spoke against God, saying, can God spread a table in the wilderness? He struck the rock so that water gushed out and streams overflowed. Can he also give bread or provide meat for his people? Therefore, when the Lord heard, he was full of wrath. A fire was kindled against Jacob. His anger rose against Israel because they did not believe in God and did not trust his saving power. Yet he commanded the skies above and opened the doors of heaven, and he rained down on them manna to eat and gave them the grain of heaven. Man ate of the bread of the angels. He sent them food in abundance. He caused the east wind to blow in the heavens, and by his power he led, led out the south wind. He rained meat on them like dust, winged birds like the sand of the seas. He let them fall in the midst of their camp all around their dwellings, and they ate and were well filled, for he gave them what they craved. Our next reading comes from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 8, verses 1 to 10. The whole commandment that I command you today, you shall be careful to do, that you may live and multiply and go in and possess the land that the Lord swore to give to your fathers. And you shall remember the whole way that the Lord your God has led you these 40 years in the wilderness, that he might humble you, testing you to know what was in your heart, whether you would keep his commandments or not. And he humbled you, and let you hunger, and, be fe and fed you with manna, which you did not know, nor did your fathers know, that he might make you know that man does not live by bread alone, but man lives by every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. Your clothing did not wear out on you, and your foot did not swell these forty years. Know then in your heart, that as a man disciplines his son, the Lord your God disciplines you. So you shall keep the commandments of the Lord your God, 
by walking in his ways and by fearing him. For the Lord your God is bringing you into a good land, a land of brooks of water, of fountains and springs flowing out in the valleys and hills, a land of wheat and barley, of vines and fig trees and pomegranates, a land of olive trees and honey, a land in which you will eat bread without scarcity, in which you will lack nothing, a land whose stones are iron, and out of whose hills you can dig copper, and you shall eat and be full, and you shall bless the Lord your God for the good land he has given you. Our last reading today comes from the New Testament, Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 1, verses 8 to 15. The Apostle writes, First, I thank my God through Jesus Christ for all of you because your faith is proclaimed in all the world. For God is my witness, whom I serve with my spirit in the gospel of his Son, that without ceasing I mention you always in my prayers, asking that somehow, by God's will, I may now at last succeed in coming to you. For I long to see you, that I may impart to you some spiritual gift to strengthen you, that is, that we may be mutually encouraged by each other's faith, both yours and mine. I do not want you to be unaware, brothers and sisters, that I have often intended to come to you, but thus far have been prevented, in order that I may reap some harvest among you as well as among the rest of the Gentiles. I am under obligation both to Greeks and to barbarians, both to the wise and to the foolish, for I am eager to preach the gospel to you also who are in Rome. This is your eternal word, Almighty Father God, and may you be praised for its generous provision to us. Grant, Father, that through the power of your Holy Spirit it can be written in our minds, on our hearts, and in our very souls, wherein it can achieve in us what is good and pleasing to your will. We pray this to your glory in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Savior, our soon returning King. As always, friends, I commend you, I thank you, I encourage you for having taken a few moments to listen to the Word of God being read. And I have taken the references for today that I used, and also the references for option two, and have placed them in the description portion of this video for your reference. Until we can be together tomorrow to hear the scriptures selected for that day, I bid you go in the grace and the peace of Jesus Christ.